Hello, my Juice Plus friends. Welcome to the Juice Plus Health Club. It's the best health club I've ever joined and the best personal growth club I've ever joined. And imagine you're coming into my office and you say, Dr. Bill, in your 50 years as a doctor, what is the top health tip you have learned? And I would say, have a healthy immune system and preload your immune system. What do you mean by preloading? That simply means the tools you will now learn to have a healthy immune system. So we're gonna have a fun and informative trip through your immune system to learn how to make it healthier. Now we're gonna start by imagining that you hold the five keys to your immune system health in the palm of your hand. First of all, you're gonna learn it, you're gonna file it in your brain, then you're gonna do it, and then you're gonna feel it, and then you're gonna share it with other people because you feel good by sharing good. And if you wanna go deeper in what we learned today, our brand new book, The Healthy Brain Book, takes you deep inside your brain in a fun and informative way. All right, now, ponder. Periodically through our talk today, I want you to look at a slide and then file it in your brain and think about it for a few seconds. It's called pondering because how we're gonna present it is I'm gonna give you some facts, some illustrations to look at, and then you file it in your brain because that makes sense. The brain will file anything that that makes sense. That's when, when you're talking to someone and they say to you, oh, that makes sense, bingo, they'll file it away. Okay, now, preload your immune system. Let's take a trip through your immune system. First of all, immune system health begins in the brain. The brain is your commander in chief of your immune system army. So your brain says, hey, NK cell. NK cell is my favorite cell of the immune system. You have a lot of cells circulating throughout your body, but my favorite is the natural killer cell. They're like the Navy SEALs of your immune system. So the brain says, hey, NK cells, I believe in you, now go fight for me. And the NK cell says, yes, preload me with all the foods and the good thoughts I need. And don't stress me out because I don't work well under stress and I'll protect you. And the brain says, okay, deal, we have a deal. And then you'll learn how to feed your immune system because any army fights better when you feed them better. And then you're gonna learn supplements based on science to support your immune system. And finally, my favorite tip, what my favorite a uh, neurologist and immunologist, Dr. Mom said, go outside and play. How movement outdoors betters your immune system. You can all do that. All right, let's start with the brain. Now, the brain is the greatest garden ever grown. Your brain garden. And what do you need to grow a garden? You need to eat smart foods. You need to feed and fertilize it. Feed and fertilize your brain garden. You need to irrigate it. And how we irrigate our brain garden, we make more blood vessels. And as you're gonna learn, a very important medical truism, the better your blood flow, the better every organ, especially your immune system. And you're gonna to learn to keep the weeds out of your brain, toxic thoughts. So how we move, how we eat, and how we think are the ways to build a better immune system. Okay. Now, let's go into the brain again. Down here, I'm a fathead. Hmm, I'm a fathead. The brain is mostly fat. So I'm a fathead, you're a fathead. And why is that important? You'll say, well, Dr. Bill, I know I'm a fathead, but why? What, so what, so what? What is it about fat that decays? Why are brain illnesses the number one illness in America now? It's because fat decays or turns rancid. The medical term is fat oxidizes, oxidation. So therefore, if our fat head oxidizes, what do we need to eat more of? Antioxidants. Hmm, 
That makes sense. I oxidize, therefore I need more antioxidants. And I need more blood flow because I'm working so hard. I'm the commander in chief of your immune system army, therefore I need more blood flow. And when you move, you make more blood flow. That makes sense. I can do that. All right, now let's go from the brain to the second brain. Now your brain is your commander in chief of your immune system army, but your gut is where the base camp is for your immune system. Most of your immune system resides in the gut. So the head brain, the commander in chief, is constantly throughout the day sending biochemical text messages down the vagus nerve, the super nerve highway of the body, the biggest nerve in the body, branches out throughout your immune system in your gut, and the brain says, hey gut, how are you doing down there? I'm doing fine brain, because you've preloaded me. You're doing what you should do to make me work better for you. So, okay, let's keep in touch. I'll work better for you up here. You work better for me down there. Like. Now, let's go down into the gut even more. Do you realize that inside your gut, where your immune system lives, you have a giant internal pharmacy called your microbiome. Now, the microbiome is the biggest word in medicine right now. The microbiome simply means your community of gut bugs that reside in your gut, and in return for free food and a warm place to live, they do good things for your immune system. They make medicines for your immune system. So look at that, just imagining the better you feed your gut bugs, the better they feed your immune system. Hmm, that was smart. All right, now you'll say, okay, what foods? What food should I feed my immune system? Dr. Bill's 5S diet. Now the term diet simply means the way we eat. So we're all on sort of a diet. I start my morning with my Juice Plus shake. Mmm, my Juice Plus shake. And like Dr. Mom said, put more color on your plate, put more color in your shake. Blueberries, the brain berry, kale, pomegranates, ginger, lots of spices and colors and greens. Oh, wow. And then in the evening, I have a multi-green salad. Greens are great for the immune system. And then thirdly, on top of the salad, I'll put a filet of wild salmon because wild salmon, seafood, has the smartest fats for your fat head. Omegas, especially omega-3s. Wow. And then we have spices, salads with spices, turmeric with black pepper makes it work better, uh, rosemary, thyme, ginger, the brain loves spices, the immune system loves spices. And then fourthly, smart snacks. Why? Why is snacking so good for the immune system? I'm going to show you. My two favorites here. George the Gorger and Gracie the Grazer. Now, George the Gorger, George the Gorger, puts too much sticky stuff in his mouth. Sticky stuff is kind of a phrase I've been using for years in my office, especially for the kids, to that sticky stuff simply means junk food. Sticky stuff also means what your doctors measure every year when you're going for your checkup called inflammatory markers. Sticky stuff, sticky stuff that clogs your blood vessels and weakens your immune system. So George put sticky stuff in his mouth and he gets sticky stuff in his blood and that sticky stuff goes to his brain, his heart, his gut, and his joints. He's full of itis. Itis is an immune system problem. His immune system is out of balance. And that's why immune system balance is the key to health. You don't want to, to fight too strong for you or you get autoimmune illnesses or too weak or you get sick and tired. So George is out of balance. Gracie the grazer. Ah, Gracie eats with chopsticks. Great way to slow down your eating. I use that in my weight management <laughs> in our office. Hey, waste management even, <laughs> okay? Because the, the, actually, the, the leaner your waist, the better your immune system. So Gracie grazes. And notice, no sticky stuff, 
no sticky stuff spikes. The immune system does not like sugar spikes. Balance your blood sugar, balance your immune system. That was easy. You can remember that. So keep sticky stuff out of your mouth to keep sticky stuff out of your immune system. My rule of twos for good grazing, for smart grazing. Eat twice as often, eat half as much, chew twice as long, and take twice the time to dine. And as I say to the kids, chew two times two. The better you chew, the better for you. Don't chew so fast. And the immune system in your gut says, hey, the more work you do up here, the easier it is down here. So chew, chew, chew times two. Now graze, graze. Now, now you're gonna say, okay, I got the four foods. How much of these foods do I need to eat every day to have a healthy immune system? Very easy, 10 fistfuls. 10 fistfuls of fruits and veggies every day. So if you're a big guy, big fist, a baby, baby fist, all ages. And two fistfuls, two fistfuls of wild salmon every week. And you say, well, Dr. Bell, I can't eat that much. I don't eat that much fruits and vegetables and berries. I don't like seafood or I'm a vegan. All right. When I get that answer in my office, then I go to food number five for your immune system. And that is smart supplements. Supplements based on science. I'm a science-based doctor. I'm a show me the science doctor. I'm not gonna put anything in my mouth, prescribe anything to my patients that is not backed up by science. So I'm gonna take you now through how to choose any supplement based on science, how to smartly choose any supplement. And I'm gonna use Juice Plus because right now it's my favorite supplement, it's one I've been taking for 22 years, the one I mostly prescribe in my, in my uh, practice, medical practice, but also because it is the best fruit and vegetable supplement supported by the most science, supported by science. So here's how you choose any, any, any supplement. First of all, do I need it? Do I need it? Well, do you eat 10 fistfuls of fruits, veggies, and berries every day, and two fistfuls of wild salmon, omegas, every week? Uh, no, I don't. All right, then therefore you need to take a fruit, veggie, berry, and omega supplement. Ooh, that makes sense. Hmm. I don't eat it, but I need it, therefore I take it. Makes sense. Show me the science. I'm gonna do real shortly. Show me the source. Ground up extracts of fruits and veggies. That was easy. Now, the concept of synergy. Your immune system loves synergy. Synergy simply means when you put a little bit of a lot of food in a capsule, extracts of a lot of food in a capsule, they fight better for your immune system. It's like a football team scores more touchdowns with 11 players than it does with three. So that's what the Juice Plus capsule has in it. It has 31 little extracts of fruits, vegetables, berries, and real foods. Wow, makes sense. Synergy is a very important word for immune system balance. All right, now that you learn about food for adults and families, let's go talk about babies. Babies, I love babies. <laughs> we have a lot of babies. <laughs> so as you can see in my background here, a lot of babies, love babies. My 50th year in, in medical practice and the reason I still love medical practice is holding babies. And around six to seven months, I have with my patients <clears throat> what I call the fat head talk. They're growing a little fat head. So we start with avocados at six months, 
salmon at seven months. I have a big sign in my office, salmon at seven, salmon at seven months. All right. And then the biggest complaint I have in my office among patients is, oh, my kids don't like veggies. My kids don't like veggies. So about five years ago, I tried a little experiment and it really worked. And I call it the sprinkle test. So follow me closely. Here's how you get your child not only to like veggies, but crave veggies. And you want to plant the roots in that child's crave center in the brain early on so they crave veggies the rest of their life. And here's how they do it. First, here's my little grandson. All right, so I take a veggie capsule, a green capsule, and I open it up and put a little uh, green veggies on mom's hand or wet her finger. And Levi wets his finger and puts it on his tongue. Mmm. Puts on his tongue, then, then t likes, and then takes his tongue, licks it off of mom's hand. Mmm. Smells like veggies. Tastes like veggies. Looks like veggies because it is veggies. And what's happening if you do that two or three times a day for two years? Follow me closely. It goes from the tongue, the taste buds in the tongue, to the brain, the crave center of the brain, the taste center, like, like, like. The brain says, hey, gut brain, down has come your favorite food, veggies. Register like. So like, 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 like. And after a while, the crave center in that child's brain, and little Levi's brain is wired for life to crave veggies. And parenting in a nutshell is giving your children the tools to succeed in life. What better tool could you give them than preloading their immune system? Wow. Kids, another thing for kids, I talk to kids a lot. And I, I, I tell them, here's the little, I show them, kids are visual learners. So here, here's, a little, here's uh, the broccoli child. I'm preloaded. And here's the child who eats sticky stuff all the time. I'm sick and tired. And I say to the kids, which one do you want to be? I want to be like the preloaded one, Dr. Bill. <laughs> they learn about preloading. I told them about sticky stuff. They go home and tell their mom, hey, Dr. Bill told me about sticky stuff. If I put sticky stuff in my mouth, I get sticky stuff in my brain. I'm, I, I'm not preloaded, mom. Okay, they got that. From food to movement. Now, I want you all to take a visual snapshot of this slide. This slide sums up immune system health, total body health in a nutshell. So follow me closely. Movement mobilizes your immune system. And what you're about to learn actually won the Nobel Prize. So let's take our first one up there, Sam the Sitter. Sam suffers from the modern disease we doctors call the sitting disease. Sam sits too much and he puts sticky stuff in his mouth. And you put sticky stuff in your mouth and you get sticky stuff in your arteries. That yellow line there is above all the medicine bottles in your, this is called where your personal pharmacy is. Your blood vessels are lined with trillions of microscopic medicine bottles. You have a personal pharmacy inside. But Sam's is closed because he puts sticky stuff in his mouth. He gets sticky stuff in his blood so his blood doesn't flow better. And slow blood is the sluggish immune system. Sticky stuff on the medicine bottles. Immune system pharmacy is closed. And to make a point, I have some patients who are closed. They just won't get it. And I say to them, get ready for this. The more you eat out of a box, the sooner you're gonna wind up in a box. Oh, okay, Dr. Bill, I get it. Now we have Mandy the mover. Mandy did everything her mother said. Eat more fruits, veggies, take science-based supplements, and go outside and play, move. Notice three things about Mandy's blood vessels. They're wider, wider blood flow, wider vessels, they're more relaxed, they're not shivering. The blood flows faster, and there's no sticky stuff on top of the medicine bottles. Wow, 
better blood flow, better brain, better immune system. And this is what won the Nobel Prize. When you move, when your blood flows faster over the tops of the medicine bottles, the medicine bottles open and flood your, your bloodstream and your immune system and your brain and every organ with the medicines that make it work better for you. So movement makes your own medicines inside your blood vessels. And if you want to have some fun in the morning, say you're out running or walking fast with a, a group of friends, you'll surprise them. Oh, feels so good to be making my own medicines. I'm opening my medicine bottles. I'm feeding my immune system. I'm keeping sticky stuff off my medicine bottle. Of course, you're going to have to explain what, what uh, this slide to them. So file this slide away and replay it in your mind. Ponder it in your mind before you go to bed tonight. Okay, now, what about juice plus science? Let's go back into our blood vessels. So I'm going to summarize 40 university studies, 40 and counting, in less than 40 seconds. All right, now there's Mandy again, Mandy's eating science-based supplements. You notice less sticky stuff on top of her blood vessels, better blood flow, and the science I love is called vascular reactivity. In the Juice Plus eaters who were studied, they had their blood vessels were more relaxed and opened better and their blood flow was better. Wow, better blood flow, better every organ. That was smart. And another thing I just really love about Juice Plus science is, this is one of my favorite articles, where the Juice Plus eaters actually had a better, NK cell army. Their NK cells, their natural killer cells, their immune system army was fighting better for them in the juice plus eaters. Wow. Show me, show me the science. That's the first thing you want to ask when anybody recommends any supplement to you. Now, why did Dr. Mom say go outside and play? Movement in nature is called exercise squared. Exercise squared, meaning when you move outside, your, your immune system fights better for you, your organs are better for you, you're more relaxed. I learned this in giving a talk over in Japan about the immune system. And over in Japan, they have a whole science at Nippon University where they study what happens to the immune system when you go out and walk in the woods. And they found that the NK cells worked better in the ones who were out moving in the woods. So this has been studied. So go outside and play. And remember, nature nurtures your immune system. Back to better flow, better immune system, our mantra. Here's an artery that sums up why we have a problem in America why we have immune system dysfunction, why we're sick and tired. Simply put, we're building up sticky stuff. Sticky stuff in our arteries starts building up early on. This will surprise you. Alzheimer's sticky stuff in the brain begins in childhood. That's when we get sticky stuff building up. That's where you want to start not having sticky stuff build up. And then it builds up to a point where your immune system no longer functions because it does not get enough blood flow. So everything you're learning today is simply meant to keep the sticky stuff out of your blood vessels. You can do that. Now, my personal preload. I want to dial down now with my personal story. And that is about two years ago, I was scheduled to get my checkup, uh, my, my checkup every year, Just, um, but I'm feeling fine. So I said to my wife, Martha, hey, uh, I think I'll skip my checkup. I feel fine. And my nurse, Martha, doctors marry nurses because we live longer. My nurse says, Bill, go for your checkup. Yes, dear. So I go to my checkup. Doctor says, hey, Bill, you're real healthy. You look fine. Pretty good for 80. And I said, okay. And so I get a call. Two, year, two, two days later, says, Bill, I'm sorry, I have 
bad news for you, you have leukemia. I thought, what? So, two years later, my white cells, 55% of my white blood cells showed cancer in them. Down now to zero, to zero. Why? And my, my oncologist says, Bill, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And I told him about preloading. Keep preloading your brain. Keep preloading your immune system because what you're doing is working. And why it worked is because what I call the pills and skills model. I had the best medical care, the best skills, and the best pills. The pills are called targeted therapy, where I pop a pill a day, goes in, gets into my immune system, and tells my genes how to behave. Hey, genes in your white cells, don't misbehave, don't get cancerous. And then skills. I preload my genes with the right food and the right thoughts and a lot of movement so they fight better for me. My immune system army fights better for me. And the thing I want you to remember is be a partner, not just a patient. Be a participant and a patient. Doctors appreciate that. And your immune system will love that. And in closing, I want to give a mission statement. Our mission statement is inspiring, healthy, living around the world. And today I wanted to inspire healthy immune systems around the world. And a, my summary slide, Dr. Bill's summary for your healthy immune system, move more, sit less, movement mobilizes your immune system. Meditate more, agitate less. Meditators have a healthier immune system. This has been studied. Meditators have better NK cells to fight for them. Wow. Sky more, screen less, graze more, gorge less, sleep more, squirm less. Sleep is like detox. Sleep is when you rest, but that's when your immune system comes out and does its house cleaning to get rid of all the garbage in your brain and body is what happens during sleep. So sleep better. Eat more smart foods. Eat less dumb foods. Share more. Feel better. Sharing, sharing, sharing. I call this the helper's high. And that means you feel good by doing good. So my wish for all of you is to go to bed tonight, and I'll go to bed tonight, sharing, sharing with a lot of people during the day what you just learned, because the more you share, you will feel good. So I wish you all a high dose of the helper's high, and I wish you all a healthy immune system.